Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we are indeed thankful and blessed that you are at this moment actively at work in our lives. We pray, O oh God, that you would bless now the preachment of this moment, that you would send forth thy light and thy truth, that they may lead us to thy holy hill. O oh God, we have no plans on leaving this church the same way we walked in. We have expectations of you, O oh God, that something will happen betwixt these walls that will make us to leave this place bigger, better, and wiser than when we first walked in. So God, now in Jesus' name, come and thy people bless, and give thy word success, spirit of holiness, on us descend. For this we pray in the only name that matters, in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord, let the church say, Amen. The 97th Bishop of the Line of Succession, Bishop, the New York Conference, our Reverend Father in God, the Right Reverend Dennis Vernon Pompton, Reverend Roberts, sister to here in the life of this church, my aunt Loretta, who was here this morning, and she's happy. You should don't talk about me over in that section. I have support over there. And to my friend and my brother, the Reverend Henry Beelan, who walked into somebody else's church bringing gifts to the new pastor. Let that be a sign. Don't ever let somebody else walk into your house with gifts first. to the officers and members of Mother Zion. To all of my friends who are here, and those of you who have made much plans and are hoping that this sermon will not tamper with those plans, I greet you in the name that is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. The text was read in your hearing a moment ago, and I will not read the entire for of this narrative, and only then just one verse in the passage that was read because I can't handle two verses today. Only one. Matthew the 14th chapter and um, verse 29 we find these words. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water and came to Jesus. Verse 30, but when he saw the wind, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. I want to talk today from this thought, a look in the right direction. A look in the right direction. A few days ago, it was this past Tuesday, I was here at the church and taking advantage of a moment in which I was here in the sanctuary by myself, I decided that I would come here to the pulpit and talk to God. I sat down in this chair right back here and my prayer, my prayer was proof that I'm a seminary trained. It was a very prepared, trained, polished prayer. Perhaps I wanted to impress God a bit. So I began to talk to God in flowery language. Side note, there will come moments in life when flowery language won't impress God and shouldn't impress you. For when your back is up against the wall, when you are nudged between a rock and a hard place, you're not really trying to find the right words. You just want to say to 